guys, Pringle Gaming here. Welcome to a more analysis video on my channel. And today's game is Sheffield United versus Mill, the one that was at Bramall Lane where United beat the Lions 2-0. Now, obviously I might have the one against Scunthorpe going up later on today. Now, the problem with that is I don't know when I'm going to be able to record it. Honestly, I'm out Sunday, Monday I'm working. I'll try my best to get it out on the Monday as I always do. But if not, it will have to go out on the Tuesday, so I hope you guys don't mind too much. Anyway, into this game and what actually happened. Well, the first opportunity of the game would happen as Jack O'Connell forced Tony Craig to just about head of the ball over the bar so that he actually wouldn't go and have a goal to Sheffield United straight away. But that wasn't to much effect, if I'm going to be honest. It's in the 16th minute, they would go 1-0 ahead. As John Flex corner found the head of Jack O'Connell, who beat Tony Craig, I believe, or a Mill defender, someone to the ball. And well, he headed his first of the game, and then the sixth of the season, putting his side ahead in a game that meant so much to Mill all season, but obviously United are top of the league. Then Jordan Archer would have to make an incredible save about a minute later, as Paul Counts picked the ball up on the edge of the area, shimmying closer to the box, before letting an amazing shot fly. Luckily, the keeper would make the save. James Hansen would then be the next player in a red and white shirt to have an opportunity, but his header spiralled wide at the target following a John Fleck cross later in the first half. Into the second half, and not so much happened compared to the first half, and well, it just didn't get much better for Millwall, the travelling siders. In the 55th minute, it went to 2-0 to Sheffield United. What happened here was Mark Duffy was able to find Kieran Freeman, who then turned and, well, he ran into the area and then curled a beautiful ball into the back of the net. I mean, it was an outstanding effort by the right wing back there. He just, he seems like he knows what he's doing as if he's been doing it for years. Though it is his 10th goal of the season, so he's doing something right. Mill did finally get a chance in this game later on as Jed Wallace played through Lee Gregory who was onside, but his shot went high and wide of the goal. This was probably Mill's best opportunity to get back in the game and, well, Gregory squandered it. The final chance of the game was when Simon Moore had to save a Steve Morrison header that came down to Aidan O'Brien and then, well, his shot had to be pushed over the bar. And well, that ended the real chances for Millwall in that game. Now, for key players, I'm going to have to go for Sheffield United's Jack O'Connell. He scored, obviously, and had a solid display in defence. Kept his side a clean sheet, and well, after Millwall had a pretty good performance in the second half, he really showed that he was a quality defender. As for Millwall, I'm going to have to go with Sean Williams. He was the creative spark in that team. His crosses and his passes were needed, but all they needed was a finish. Or a better run in behind, and Mill probably would have got back and competed in this game. But anyway, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this Mill analysis video of Sheffield United versus Mill. Until the next one, which is against Scunthorpe, like, comment, subscribe. Of course, I will see some of you guys in that analysis video. But until then, goodbye.